Hi, everybody. So, I don't know if you ever do this, but uh, I left the TV on and I walked out of the room uh, last night. I don't remember what was on. Um, doesn't matter. No, and I, oh, what did I do? I don't even remember that. I think I went to change my clothes or something. And I came back into the room and I heard this person say, what does that even mean? I was probably a political show, but still, I got to thinking about it. What does that even mean? How many times could we um, apply that to our lives? How many times could, could we look at somebody when they're talking and say, what does that even mean? And um, I got to thinking about my job is to um, find meaning or explain meaning or um, attribute meaning to things that, that go on in our regular life, right? But then I got to thinking about, well, those things that we are, that we say that we believe, what does that even mean? So I invite you to think of a statement that maybe you say all the time. Um, I believe in God. What does that even mean? Think about it. Um, first off, what does it mean to say, I believe in something? What does it mean to you? What do you believe in? I believe I believe in my family. I believe they would stand by me. So what is belief? Well, it's, it's more than hope. It's having confidence in a fact. What we believe is a fact. I believe that my family loves me. It's been proven out over time. What does it mean to believe? Say, I believe in God. Boy, that opens up everything about who, what is God. Is there such a thing as an overarching presence? Or as I preach about this week, essence? Or an overarching pattern or matrix? When I emerged from seminary and had to write my statement of faith, the whole thing was about how there was a matrix of life. And um, God is the, the matrix itself. The spirit fills up the matrices. I mean, it's just very interesting. But so what does it mean to say, I believe? What does that even mean? What does it mean to say that Jesus is the Son of God. To some people, I'm sure it's that uh, physical substance of God. For others, I'm sure it means Jesus is the outpouring of God's love, energy, teaching. does that really mean? Much of my life I've been stumbling over the phrase that Jesus is my my Savior. I just, I'm not, I, I remember being, you know, 19, 20 and, and saying, well, what am I being saved from? You know, and somebody would say, well, the powers of hell and destruction. Well, I don't believe in them, so how can I be saved from them? Well, whether you believe in them or not, they exist. No, I don't. I don't know that they do. <laughs> you know, so I don't. Um, I'm not too, too sure what it is that I mean when I say these things. And I think lots of times we say things and we don't think them through. About oh, what does that really even mean? Um, and then I remember a teacher in high school saying to me, mean what you say and say what you mean. So hearing someone ask, what does that even mean? Is to pick apart kind of what we, what we say we believe, what, what we, how we uh, 
what are the qualities or the uh, guideposts of our life? What do they even mean? What does it even mean to be alive? What is our purpose? And what do we mean by that? See, meaning is a, a tricky thing, isn't it? My brother and I got in a discussion on Sunday in our FaceTime, weekly FaceTime. Um, is there truth? Is there such a thing as absolute truth? That's a, I mean, philosophers have been talking about these things for hundreds of years, maybe thousands, and we're still wondering. So I think it's good for us to ask, well, what does that even mean? You hear something on the news. What does that even mean? You hear some statement between people, whether they're angry or loving. What does that even mean? It's things that happen to us. Well, what does that even mean? I think then you get into levels of meaning. What does it mean to me? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to the broader world? What does it mean in the grand scope of things? Elections, what do they even mean? Well, it means a lot in terms of human life. But in the grand scheme of things, historically, I think it tells more about the people who are voting than the ones who are elected, maybe. I don't know. I spend most of my life, as I said, trying to find meaning, discover meaning, import meaning, get people to question meaning. And what is the meaning of my life? Well, I know what I think. I'm not about to share it here, but I know my life has meaning to me. What's the meaning of your life? Turn that around. What gives your life meaning? What does that even mean? I invite you to think about this, all of the many nuances of this today, because when we get at meaning with a capital M, I think we get at some of the essence of life, something greater than ourselves, which for the purposes of this meditation series, something greater than ourselves, we think of as God, however, whatever term you use. So I invite you throughout the day to think of this question, what does that even mean? Thanks for taking this prayerful pause out of your day. I'm Pastor Deb Swift of South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York a few moments to think of something greater than ourselves. I hope you have a great day. Whatever the weather's like, we are in the election season. Get out and vote if you can. If you haven't already done your mail-in, it's important that we do that. Not sure what it means, <laughs> but, but get out and do it. You'll feel better. I know that's for sure. All right, everybody, till next time. Take care. God bless. And bye for now.